To benefit from more sustainable construction methods in your design projects, you can use the seamless timber design workflow between Tecla Structural Designer and Tecla Teds. Any timber, glue limb, and composite members present in the Tecla Structural Designer model can be linked with Tecla Teds to perform a timber design. This can be done on an individual member-by-member -member basis or as part of a group. For design, Tecla Structural Designer passes design forces, section properties, and design options to Tecla TEDs. Use the TEDs user interface to carry out your design. TEDs will return the updated section size and design status to Tecla Structural Designer where you can keep track of design status. You can create general arrangement drawings within Tecla Structural Designer and detailed timber calculations by exporting to Tecla TEDs. Continue watching to learn how to perform timber design using Tecla Structural Designer and Tecla TEDs. Before carrying out a timber design, ensure that the intended code is correctly specified within Tecla Structural Designer. This code is automatically applied in all TEDs timber member designs. You place timber members into the model the same way as other material types, by choosing an available section from the database. If a section size is not available in the Tecla Structural Designer database, you can use the TEDS user interface to specify any section size you want, which will then be added to the database. For columns, if you require a different cross-section to be applied as you move up the column, you need to specify a splice in the required stack. Load combinations are automatically divided into groups, called timber combination sets to create design cases for use in timber design. These are based on the load types in the combinations, grouping combinations by load duration. The maximum member forces from all of the combinations in a timber combination set will create at least one design case in TEDs. When a member sees both tension and compression within a timber combination set, two design cases are created. You can specify timber design settings that can apply to the entire model saving you from specifying the default value each time the TEDs user interface appears. You can, if you wish, override the value on a member-by-member -member or group basis. You can specify the default output level for the TEDs timber calculations for the entire model, saving you from specifying the value each time the TEDs user interface appears. You can design timber members individually or as design groups. Grouping similar members allows you to standardize your design to improve your design productivity, simplify editing, reduce the volume of output created, and speed up the design process. By default, design groups are enabled. You can disable the member types and design them individually if you wish. Timber members can only be designed once analysis results exist. These can be generated by running an Analyze All or a Design All command. Running Analyze All is quicker, as Design All also performs any steel and concrete member design. In this example, some of the timber members have already been designed, hence the review regime is displaying their design status. Once an analysis, including load combinations, has been performed, you can use the timber member design commands to perform a timber design. You can use the design using Tecla TEDs commands from the context menu within the group tab or the active scene view to perform a design using Tecla TEDs. The commands allow you to design a grouped or ungrouped member, group, selection, or the model. Once a design has been performed, the context menu will display additional options to allow you to check using Tecla TEDs without displaying the TEDs user interface. Export to TEDs to create output documentation and clear to remove the saved design data. Use model to design every timber member in the model. If you have chosen to use timber member design groups, the group command gathers the analysis results of all the members in the group and combines them into a single set of critical design forces used for group design. If you make changes within the TEDs user interface, all members in the group are updated with the changes. Each individual member in the group is then checked for only the combination results they see, and a pass, fail status and utilization ratio is calculated for each member in the group. Grouped member design is slightly different to a group design. Using this command, the chosen member is designed for its own design forces. If changes are made in the TEDs user interface, then these are copied to the other members in the group, and each member is checked for only the combination results they see. 
It is possible to obtain a mix of pass and failing members using this command, but it can be useful to identify members that could be more optimized if they were moved out of the current design group. You can review the utilizations for the group members and if necessary create new groups and reallocate the members between groups. By running further group commands, you can fully optimize the timber design for each group. In this example, we will move the three failing members into their own design group. We will display both groups in the tabular data view to keep track of the utilization ratios, and then run a design using Tecla Ted's group command on the new group to optimize the members. To design multiple members or groups in one go, select the members and use selection. If group design is active, then Tecla Structural Designer identifies the groups where at least one member is included in the selection. It then performs the design for each group as discussed for group design earlier. If group design is inactive, then each selected member is designed independently. If you have opted to set design groups as inactive, or the member exists in its own design group, each member is designed one at a time. You can include timber member deflection checks by assigning deflection limits in the properties window or dialog. Deflection design cases are created and added to the strength design cases for every timber member with the controlling deflection combination identified in each deflection design case name. All deflection design cases and properties can be viewed and managed from the deflection criteria dialog within the TED's user interface. Long-term effects of creep, controlled using the timber design settings can be included in the total load deflection check. The variable load proportion and quasi-permanent variable load factors are automatically determined. Final deflections are determined in TETS and displayed in the preview results. If you make changes to the model and the design results become invalid, you will need to reanalyze and check the timber members are still adequate. Instead of using design using Tecla TEDS, which displays the user interface, you can use the check using Tecla TED's commands, which run in the background without the user interface appearing. These commands only become available after a design using Tecla TED's has been performed, since the design data necessary for the timber design exists. To quickly check all timber members in the model with saved design data, use the check in TED's command on the design ribbon tab. You can create general arrangement drawings to specify your design intent. Open a 2D view of the model and from the drawing ribbon tab create a general arrangement drawing for the displayed view. A DXF drawing showing the timber cross section and required material grade is automatically opened in your default DXF application. To obtain the detailed documentation, use the export to Tecla TEDS command to export the member or group to Tecla TEDS. You can then review the detailed documentation and print or save in various formats, including PDF.